hello everyone so i thought of recording a small uh, video which showcase my uh, vs code setup right and this was one of the ask from our one of the community members during our first javascript for vapor sessions for example uh, if you look at my screen uh, if i click here right or i click here i can beautifully see that this this color matches with this color and where is the opening braces where is the closing braces right or where is the closing brace for this this right or let's say this promise say there is it doesn't look like a known word so from where these these things or these my helpful things are coming is via extension so uh, vs code is one of the best editor and in order to keep enhancing and in order to helping out our developer community so we have provided us with uh, like a uh, uh, the uh, power they have given us a power to develop our own extension or maybe use extensions developed by other people so maybe in this setup what i will do is i'll try to cover what all one of the few basic extensions which are very important one we use and and then and i hope it help you in setting up your um, a theme also as well as along with your setup also so basically the first of one one of the first extension which i would like to talk about is uh, uh, let me go up is uh, abap one is okay so the theme which you see is is a atom one line theme right all you need to do is in case uh, uh, you need to install something you need to write here atom one line theme and it will automatically fetch you right and then uh, you can just click on uh, here the install button will come and then you can basically do it right and uh, this already is the same thing so which is okay now second extension which is this one where you saw that uh, it is showing me which where the brackets are opening and closing it is um, this one bracket pair colorizer so this is very uh, i think this is one of the most important one because in javascript you have callbacks you have uh, uh, what do we say uh, uh, promises so you don't know where the bracket opens where the bracket closes so this actually helps you a lot so this is one of the recommended one i'll say and then next is this error which you were saying is basically what has happened is we want our code to be like readable right you should be using those words which are readables so that's where we have this code spell checker right so this thing actually tells you that okay this promise is not a word right so that is where it actually helps me then uh, another important one is which is normally we use when we have to beautify things up right for example this uh, we have this color one right color highlight so what it does is for example if i write any color code right so it automatically you know colors this in the same way right so basically uh, it helps you in in checking what code it is right or uh, what color it will show like so that's where it helped me docker and these are these are more specific towards uh, the the other experiments which we are doing on docker and other areas right but i think apart from color highlight this git lens is very important for example you see this message coming you 10 days ago session or there is a this file has been modified or you see this right where what all changes are so this all everything is being done via git and git lens so git lens i will say it is a must installed for everyone right because then you will be because there are multiple work, working and then only you will be able to know who does what changes so git lens is must and in our in our in our uh, what do you say in our live streams you must have seen that automatically the page was reloading as soon as i was uh, changing something so that is being done via live server so it's very important right i use it and all i need to do once i have to go live is click on this button and i am up and running and the moment i change something it shows me right and uh, one of the last one which is very important is to do this i use most you know very frequently for example i'm working on uh, this this html file or maybe this javascript file and uh, i have to do some work here so what i will do is i'll just say fix me tag i'll release here right and what will i do is it will basically 
once i'm scrolling through it will clearly shows me that okay there is something needs to be done right or for example you're doing some development and you want to do some develop some part later on so what you can do is you can say to do colon right so when you're browsing through your code it clearly shines out right so these are the uh, the six out of the many which i use of course i use xml yaml markdown in fact you know one more i'll say the rest client that is very important so basically if you if you are running a local server or you want to make a postman type calls without leaving your vs code right for example here i have a request calls going from you know it's, it's like a postman in your vs code right so you can have your different request grouped and you can click on this send request and then it will show you the result right now the server is not running so it will eventually fail out see it is rejected because service is not running right so basically there are seven which i talked about bracket then fix me color git lens live server to do rest there are others of course which are specific to my setup right and you can you know browse through search through them and you will find a lot many for example it will also tell you what are the, the you know recommended one okay so i hope uh, it helps you in powering up your vs code once you have installed it till then thank you thanks for watching bye bye take care